people. And before we get into this week's fight scene Friday, I want to first thank all you guys who watch the videos every week and have made comments and who have subscribed and liked the videos. Uh, thank you again for that. Uh, I want to explain a little bit about this video and some challenges that I had. I am not a professional filmmaker of any type. Uh, so I thought it would be a good idea and more realistic to get some outside footage of Sifu Emil doing uh, performing, I should say, his hungar form and also uh, interviewing him for some episodes of Fight Scene Friday, you know, the season two dealing with uh, hungar fight scenes. Uh, what I made the mistake of doing is uh, having my camera operator who was uh, William Brown Jr. of Bone Studios film outside with a with a boom mic and it caught every sound imaginable. So unfortunately the audio here is very muffled. I tried to clean it up as best I could but again I'm not a professional. So what I've included is subtitles on this particular fight scene Friday with Sifu Amil and I talking about Hungar. I am going to reach out to Sifu Amil to uh, do another audio interview with him in an enclosed location so that we can have good sound and bring you guys some, some good information on Hungar in the movie. So again, I want to apologize for that, but as time was running out, I didn't have time to get back with him to do that. So the footage that you're going to see is uh, good footage, but the audio is going to be muffled, but I included subtitles and I put them in there. So please, if there is any uh, misquote or any type of mistake, that is my fault and not c 4 mail. So hope you guys enjoy this week's fight scene Friday. Um, again, I apologize for the audio. But I still think it's some good information in the subtitles. And again, we're going to correct that. And I'm going to get in contact with Sifu Emil to uh, schedule another recording session so that we can do it inside, in closed space, so that you can get the best audio possible. Thank you again. This is the Gary Williams, the 12th Venom, signing off. Enjoy this week's Fight Scene Friday. Peace. Kung Fu and its relation to Kung Fu movies. So Sifu Amel, can you give us uh, a brief history of Hungar? Yeah, I'll we'll, uh, try to keep it brief. <laughs> um, basically started like in the 16th century. Um, from my understanding, there are like two or three uh, storylines that you can choose from. I choose the one where it just comes directly from the Shaolin Temple. And uh, it's mainly a, a tiger style. One story could be that um, one monk that came out of there and studied uh, exclusively tiger style. His eventual wife was a master of the brain system, which a lot of other styles, such as Tai Chi and Wang Shan, uh, uh, they met and they used the two together. Um, but uh, the proliferation of Hunga was kind of part of the really fueled by the anti-chain uh, sentiment. Um, so it's just basically what's whole history is, has a lot to do with um, you know, uh, people who were 
really what the main benefits do and work against the oppression that the force the dimensions. Okay. So, so throughout time it just developed more and more uh, as this underground uh, rebel system. When we see that thing a lot in Kung Fu movies, um, such as Executive from Shaolin, uh, Shaolin Temple from Chang Ke, and that whole host of characters that, that are in that one. Um, what are some of the basic principles of the Kung style? We see a lot in the movies, and a lot of it represented, uh, we don't, as viewers who don't train, what are some of the basic principles and philosophy of Kung Sao? Well, the, what you'll see most of them, I would say it's probably the easiest part to answer, uh, of the Tiger style, which uh, Tiger means bowling, bowling. Uh, Tiger is more derived and known for its strength and power. It's a lot of uh, the training, because Hong Kong is from the south, you know, where people are shorter and a little bit more stout. It's very low stance, very powerful building of the, of the core muscle. And it's more, it strikes it more direct. And as it's more mobile. Um, what I like to try to teach in my, in my school is that actually, first of all, there's the brain movement, which is more flowing, is more taking in energy and the redirection of energy that you see, and more the soft style. The two married together creates this. You know, I don't think any style is complete. It really uh, has a wide range of, of, uh, of movements. So that's pretty, you know, I still think it's close to complete. Um, but Tiger itself is actually really underrated in its ability to uh, manipulate uh, movement to dispel power. And it's not so much about flashing, you know, as a lot of people might like, think, you know, if you really think about it. Uh, the tiger out in the wild ambushes its prey. You know, it's not taking on a buffalo head on. You know, it could, you know, it could die. You know, so the tiger style is not as, as hard, but it's, it's very realistic in that in the way it's, it's harness and the low stuff teaches you how to use it realistically should you be at the top of the biggest person or something. That's very Can you explain or name some of the more famous practitioners that are associated with the rock I would I would say um I don't know if this is the most famous but uh to me like this is a big person for me is uh, uh Abbott G Sim C. So I say Abbott is because he was really good because he was the shallow part who directly brought the style of, you know, of Tiger or Tiger and Queen out to the open to the public. Thank you, Sifu Amel, for that great information on Hungar and uh, the mythological or uh, founder, Abbot Jisin Simsi. This week's Fight Scene Friday comes from Execution of the Shaolin, when Abbot Jisin Simsi, portrayed by Li Hoi Sang, takes on the evil, treacherous, and highly skilled by May, portrayed by Lolier in perhaps one of his greatest roles and most famous roles ever. This scene takes place when G Sin Sim C confronts by May after the raising and burning of Shaolin Temple. Be sure to tune in next week for Fight Scene Friday as we continue with our series on Hungar in the Kung Fu movies. 12 Venom signing off. Peace. My 
清朝廷，德系一般反清志士，以少林寺为联络中心，特命白眉道人率领首徒两广提督高进忠包围屠杀，并火烧少林寺。至善禅师因维护弟子逃生，与白眉道人展开生死决斗。